Derbyshire in difficulty after disrupted day. A real upturn in form for Nottinghamshire before the LV County Championship went on hiatus was well-timed for this round's hosts. Into contention in Group 1, five points behind Warwickshire, and with the local contest against Derbyshire to sink their teeth into after four weeks away from the longer format. With inclement weather in and around Trent Bridge, the stop-start nature of the match denied them any rhythm, but Luke Fletcher took advantage of the uncertainty. Reese removed for six off 29 balls. And there was more joy for the hosts soon after. Hutton got in on the act with the wicket. Tom Wood trapped LBW, and Derbyshire now two down for just 20. Brooke Guest and Lewis Deploy found their feet quicker than their predecessors, and started to build a platform for Derbyshire. Knott's early progress gave way to some dogged defiance, even if the score still languished below 50. Their resistance was short-lived though. With the match heading towards lunch, Guest was gone, caught behind off Lyndon James as the ball shaped away from him. That left the visitors at 44 for three when lunch was taken. Some work to do for Derbyshire after the break to get a foothold in the game. The first step of their fight back was breaching 50 runs, a feat achieved by Critchley after the restart when Hutton disappeared to the fences. When Knotts had found a way to pick up wickets at key intervals, Critchley and Duploy batted their way towards 100 runs. The hosts denied, and the score up into the 70s when the rain returned and they were forced off once again. Tea was taken with no more play possible in the afternoon session. It was quite some time before they could return to the middle, but when they did, not separated the dangerous partnership. Key man Critchley out to Joey Everson for 23. Fletcher then removed his replacement. Harvey Hussain out LBW for a duck after facing just two deliveries. The hosts well on top. Deploy and Hudson Prentice took the visitors into the 90s with dark clouds overhead starting to threaten. And they'd have to depart the field with the score 91 for 5. The covers returned to the middle and no more play was possible in the day. Nottinghamshire will be by far the happier of the two. Plenty of overs lost from the day, but they'd taken full advantage of what had been possible. They'll hope to wrap up the Derbyshire innings early on day two and take advantage of what looks likely to be a small first innings lead for their visitors.